Hello teachers out there. This video is part of my Canvas tutorials video series that I've been doing on my YouTube channel, trying to get all of you online teaching as fast, as efficient, and as calmly as possible. So if you use Canvas learning management system for your school, your university, or your institution, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a look at the analytics inside your Canvas classes. If you haven't done so already, please take a second to click the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, that way you don't miss any videos. I'm really trying to get more of them out so I can help all of you transition your classes to Canvas or help all of you out there that are trying to transition your online teaching or your online studio to get up and running as quickly as possible. All right, let's get started. All right, let's take a look at one of my older classes that's already complete. This is an online class that I did in a winter section that was introduction to theater, which is kind of like one of the bread and butter courses for those of us that are theater, musical theater teachers at the college level. Go to the right side. On the right side, I want you to click on analytics. Yours might say new analytics or analytics. It really depends on the version that you have of Canvas right now. Sometimes it'll pop up like this one and because I haven't looked at analytics lately in this in this class because I don't teach at this institution anymore. Take a look at the messages that will give you helpful tips and information straight from Canvas. I'm going to close that now. You can see the average course grade here, 87.82. Pretty good, actually, for this class. Um, you can see down here all of the information regarding the grades and kind of an overview as a graph. And this has been updated, actually, fairly recently because it didn't used to have this much in Canvas. They've been really doing a great job at updating. You can tick these on or off. Maybe you just want to see the discussions. And again, this is everybody in this one class, in this one section. You could just tick um, take off quizzes and it just shows you discussions, or you can click both and kind of see where everything falls. Then you can touch on the blue dot and you can see what unit discussion it was or what quiz it was or what assignment that it was and see the grades that way. Now also here you can click on the, um, the icon that looks like an envelope and it says message students who, you can click on that, and you can message students who have a missing assignment, and you can pick the assignment here, who were late. Sometimes what I like to do is, if a student didn't turn assignment in, I will send them a message all at one time with one click of a button saying, hey, it looks like you didn't turn this assignment in. Did you forget? Would you like me to let you resubmit it if you're comfortable with doing that or not? Did you forget? A lot of times it's because they forgot or they didn't know. So you have that access here to choose from. Let's get out of that. So it's a great way to message students. You can also actually do that in SpeedGrader. What I like to do is when an assignment is about to be due, like 24 hours in advance, you can go into, um, let me show you really quickly actually, you can go into grades and you can go into the top and you can click on the three dots, I call it a little hamburger. And if you're about to have that assignment is about to be due, you can send a quick little reminder to just those students who haven't turned it in yet, click the hamburger, then you can click on message students who, that will open up and you can choose haven't submitted yet, haven't been graded, scored less. What I do as I click on haven't submitted yet, it pops those students' names up down here, and then I type in a little message, and I just say, hey, it looks like you haven't submitted this um, assignment yet. Just wanted to give you a friendly reminder that it's due in 24 hours. Let me know if you have any questions. Many times they will write me back and they will say, oh my gosh, thank you for the reminder. I totally forgot. Sometimes they'll say, yes, I'm gonna do it here in a little while, and maybe they're just waiting to the last minute to do it, but you've at least sent them a friendly reminder, and it really does help with online classes. Communication is really key. So that's a little bit of an overview of this page here as well. You can also go down and click on them individually, the different assignments if you'd like to. Then we also have these arrows over here. If you'd like to download everything, you can do different charts, different tables. If you wanna display it in shapes, you can really play with that on the side over here. Table data, you can, that was in shapes. Now we can see it in just a table and the the sections and the grades over here. We can also go up to the top, click weekly online activity, 
and we can see through here the dates and the page views and how many times it has been viewed. Now it's zero right now because this class is already completed. But you can see here's the number of students, here's how many page views each one had, and participation. All right. So you kind of get an idea. Like these screenshots, these are images. So of course there was no participation in that. Um, a forum logo, no participation in that because it was just, just a logo. And you can tick through here all the bottom pages and see the information that the that Canvas is giving you. So it's a great way to really get an overview of what's happening in your class and the participation of your students. If we go to the third section on the very top bar up here, you can actually click through the student list. Now I have on the left side, there's a cover up on top of it so you can't see my students' information. Again, protecting their privacy. So we can see over here, there, the student's grade, an overview, how much they were on time. Ooh, 100%, that was pretty good. Um, the last day they participated in the class. Again, this was a class last year. So the last day they participated, meaning that they have logged on to Canvas, the last page view, so the date when the user last even accessed the course, number of page views, you can see it says count of total page views for a student within this course. You can see sometimes there's a lot more than others. And that's just because maybe they go back and forth to it. Maybe they, this person, uh, viewed it quite a lot. Maybe they wanted to spend more time reviewing materials or items. And then you can see participation. Count of total participations for a student within this course. And that's going to accumulate all types of ways that they're participating in the class. Discussions, announcements, quizzes, anything that they're doing. Now you can click on a student. Let's click on a student down here. Let's click on, let's click on the student. 4,815 views, yes. Now you can see all of their assignments on the left. Okay, you can see their overall grade. You can see if they submitted it, if they were on time, the grade on each assignment. So it's a breakdown of that one student. And then if you go to the top up here next to course grade in the middle, it says weekly online activity. If you click on that, it will show you every single day that the student has logged on and the page views. So it's giving you a breakdown. So let's say, let's pick a day here. Let's click on the day and we can see the, the pages that they actually clicked on and opened this day. And we can see what they viewed. So the images, if you put images in your pages, we can see everything that they viewed in that day. And you can tell this one was a day that they probably were going through a module. That's why there's so many that they viewed. So that was a day that this student decided to go into a module. So you can really see all this information. Again, you can display shapes. You can do it as a table. You can, here's the shape ones. Okay, so you can see it in a different way that works for you. Um, let's go back to table here. So you can see all of this information, so you know. Now you can click on communication and you can see if they messaged you, if you messaged them, you can click on the day and see more information. You have multiple different options here. Again, you can go to the hamburger and display it in that shape if you like, or you can display it in the um, table format. So here's the shape format as well. Okay, if you'd like to, you can also click the uh, information up here. You, you see the icon next to their name, the little envelope icon. You can click on that and you could message them and say, hey, I was, took a look at your grades today and I noticed that you're late for your assignments quite often. Is there something that I can do to help with that or alleviate that challenge perhaps that you're, you're trying to overcome? Sometimes it's because they respond and they're like, yeah, I don't have internet until this time. I have to go to a coffee shop or I'm having challenges because I have to share a laptop with my, with my family and I don't get that until my parents get home at this time. And then you can actually go in and give that student a little more time to help them out. So that's just an overview of the analytics that you have. You can really dive in and play around with it more and see what other options that are available to you. And it just gives you a better idea of what your students are looking at, what they're not looking at, and how best you can help them 
on your side from the other side of the screen. Hope this video helped you understand Canvas a little bit better. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and I will see you in the next video. All right, I'll see you then. <laughs>